Okay, welcome to the next class. In the previous classes, I have discussed problems on relative velocity. So next, I am going to discuss the motion of a boat in the river and some problems on resultant velocity. Of course, in all. So let us consider a particle which moves in the xy plane with uniform velocity. Let us suppose what is the initial position of the particle and we can choose the coordinate system such so that the origin of the coordinate system coincides with the initial position of the particle. Let P be the position of the particle of time t. The velocity is uniform and there is no acceleration for the particle. Displacement of the particle can be written as velocity of the particle into time interval. So if S bar is the displacement vector and V bar is the velocity vector of the particle, then displacement of the particle in time interval t given by S bar equal V bar into t. For motion in the xy plane, the velocity v bar can be written as i cap into vx plus j cap into vy. And displacement vector can be written as i cap into sx plus j cap into sy. Of course, here i cap is unit vector along positive x axis and j cap is unit vector along positive axis. Sx and Sy denote the two rectangular components of the displacement vector parallel to x and y axis. Vx is x component of the velocity of the particle, Vy is the y component of the velocity of the particle. This you can write i cap into vx into t plus j cap into vy into t. So when you equate the x components both sides, you can write sx equal to vx into t. That means x component displacement of the particle is equal to x component of the velocity to time interval. Sy equating the y components, you get Sy equal to Vy into T. That means the magnitude of the displacement of the particle parallel to the y direction or y component displacement is equal to y component of velocity to time interval. So magnitude of the actual displacement of the particle can be written as magnitude of actual velocity to time interval. So, when we discuss the motion of a boat crossing a river, we choose the direction of the flow of river water usually as the x direction. The direction along the bed of the river perpendicular to the water flow, we take it as y axis. So, first I am going to consider the general case of a boat crossing the river, that means how to find the time taken by a boat to cross the river and also discuss two cases, two special cases, but the one special case is crossing the river in minimum possible time and another special case crossing the river along the minimum distance path. So, this is the bed of the river, I mean this is one bank of the river, this is the other bank of the river and this is the direction of the flow of river water. Let O be the initial position of 
of the boat on one bank of the river in some of the problems you may not be given the speed of the boat you may be given speed of the swimmer in still water so in that case you have to take here where is the initial position of the swimmer or the boat on one bank of the river let a be the exactly opposite point on the other bank of the river i choose the direction of the flow of river water as x axis the direction along the line oe perpendicular to the flow of river water that means the direction along the width of the river through the initial position we take it as y axis so in all the problems we are going to discuss the speed of river water i denote it by u the speed of the boat with respect to water or speed of boat in still water i denote it by v so here v represents speed of boat in still water that means when water is not flowing when water is still the boat may will be able to move with certain speed in a still water lake that i denote by v or some other examples you may be given speed of boat relative to water even then that means same as the speed of boat in still water and u is the velocity of the river water here in the general case i consider a general case where v bar is directed at an angle theta with u bar so the actual velocity of the boat while it crosses the river as seen by a stationary observer on one of the banks will be the resultant of v bar and u bar that we call resultant velocity so resultant velocity of the boat is the vector sum of v bar and u bar resultant velocity of the boat means it is the velocity of the boat as seen by a stationary observer on one of the banks with respect to the fixed coordinate system so you can resolve this v bar into rectangular components parallel to x and y axis the x component velocity of the can be written as v cos theta the other component will be v sin theta the boat moves in the direction of the resultant as v bar and u bar so if you complete the parallelogram by representing the two vectors v bar and u bar along the adjacent sides of the parallelogram set the tail of v bar is attached to tail of u bar and the diagonal of the parallelogram passing through their point of intersection represent the resultant velocity 
So the boat moves in the direction of that resultant velocity. That means that moves along the path something like this. The boat travels along the line OB. That means the line OB is the actual path along which the boat moves while crossing the river as seen by an observer who is at trust on one of the banks of the river. So here the velocity u bar is direct along x axis. It will have no component parallel to the y direction. You can write the resultant velocity of the boat means the velocity of the boat as seen by a stationary observer on one of the banks or the velocity which with the boat moves with respect to stationary observer on one of the banks will be the vector sum of relative velocity of the boat with respect to water and velocity of water. This V bar you can write V cos theta into I cap plus V sin theta into J cap and U bar you can write U into I cap. So resultant velocity of the boat or you can say actual loss of the boat as seen by a station observer on one of the banks, you can write this way V cos theta plus U into I cap plus V sin theta into J cap. So you can write in this form Vx into I cap. plus Vy into J cap. Here Vx represents the X component as the resultant velocity, which is equal to V cos theta plus U. Vy is the Y component as the resultant velocity, which is equal to V sin theta. So here O is the initial position of the boat on one bank of the river and A is the exact opposite point on the other bank of the river. The boat moves along the line O B. In the direction of the resultant of V bar and U bar. That means the line OB represents the actual path along which the boat crosses the river while crossing the river as seen by station of one of the banks. So the boat moves along the path OB with the resultant velocity VR. So when the boat crosses the river and reaches the other bank at the position B, then Length of the line OB gives you the magnitude of the actual displacement of boat. That is equal to magnitude of the resultant velocity into time taken. The length of the line OA, that is the width of the river, can be taken as equal to the Y component displacement, a displacement parallel to Y axis. The distance with the boat travels down the river on the other bank, below this point A, when it crosses the river, this A is the point on the other bank which is opposite to the initial push of the boat. So here the length of the line AB is called drift. 
that represent the x component displacement so you can write to most of the problems you are given the width of the river i denote the width of the river by capital d here that means the length of the line oa we call width of the river denote by capital d you can write displacement parallel to the y direction is equal to y component of velocity into time interval let capital t denote the time taken by the boat to cross the river let capital t denote the time taken by the boat to cross the river so when the boat just crosses the river and reaches the other bank the y component of its displacement will be equal to the width of the river and you can write v y equal to v sin theta so the time taken by the boat or swimmer to cross the river you can write d by v sin theta that means time taken by the boat or swimmer to cross the river is equal to width of the river divided by velocity along the width of the river or velocity component of velocity perpendicular to the water flow mm. so here the displacement in sometimes you may be asked to find the drift of the boat while crossing the river means the distance if the boat moves down the river in the direction of the water flow below the point a opposite to the initial position below the starting point then in the diagram i have shown here why the initial position of the boat on one bank of the river from where it started moving A is exactly opposite point on the other bank. B is the final position of the boat when it just crosses the river and reaches the other bank. The distance between the two position points A and B down the river on the other bank that is called drift. That is nothing but equal to x component displacement. This x component displacement can be written as x component of velocity into time interval. so here drift now distance between point a and b is equal to x component of the velocity the discussed shown here that is equal to v cos theta plus u into capital t in case you are asked to find the actual distance covered by the boat while crossing the river so the actual distance covered by the boat while crossing the river is equal to magnitude of the resultant velocity into time taken from parallelogram law of addition of vectors the magnitude of the resultant velocity of the boat means magnitude of velocity of the boat as seen by a stationary observer one of the banks of the river is given by root of v square plus u square plus 2 v u cos theta that means using the formula for magnitude of the vector sum of two vectors as we discussed earlier in the parallelogram law of addition of vectors so magnitude of the actual displacement or actual distance covered by the boat while crossing the river actual distance covered is same as magnitude of the actual displacement because the velocity is uniform here that is equal to magnitude of the resultant velocity into time interval 
so that is the general procedure we follow for the problems on boat crossing the river but here i am going to discuss about two cases here two special cases one special case crossing the river in minimum time another special case is crossing the river along the minimum distance path of course those who want to copy the notes they can wait here i will be showing the powerpoint later then you can copy the notes you can just listen concentrate on the my explanation you can see the calculation i have explained previously displacement in the y direction is equal to velocity in the y direction time interval i have written d equal to v sin theta into t or that means the time taken by the boat to cross the river is given by d by v sin theta here d is the width of the river v is the speed of the boat or swimmer in still water that is the angle between u bar and v bar so for given values of d and v that means when the width of the river is a constant given place the value of v is also fixed for a given boat so time taken to cross the river is proportional to 1 by sin theta therefore the time taken to cross the river <coughs> the time taken by the boat to cross the river will be minimum and sin theta is maximum the maximum value of sin theta equal to 1 sin theta equal to 1 when theta is 90 degrees theta is the angle between v bar and u bar so the time taken by the boat or swimmer to cross the river will be minimum when v bar is directed perpendicular to u bar figure shows the bed of the river o is the initial position of the boat on one bank of the river a is exactly opposite point on the other bank of the river so the time taken by the boat or swimmer to cross the river will be minimum when v bar is directed straight across the river means v bar is directed perpendicular to the velocity of the river water here v bar is the velocity of the boat or swimmer relative to water and u bar is the velocity of the river water or you can say v is the magnitude of velocity of the boat in still water so if we complete the rectangle by representing v bar and u bar by the adjacent sides the diagonal represents the resultant velocity so v r bar represents the resultant of v bar and u bar that means v r bar represents the resultant velocity of the boat means vr bar represents the velocity of the boat as seen by stationary ob observer on one of the banks of the river so in this case the boat crosses the river in minimum time when v bar is directed along with oe but the boat will not move along the line oe 
that boat moves along the line OB and reach other bank at B. What is the initial position of the boat? It just starts moving across the river. Then B is the final position of the boat or swimmer when it just crosses the river and reaches the other bank. In some of the problems, you may be asked to find what is the actual distance traveled by the boat while crossing the river. So in that case, you have to find length of the line OB. So in this case, the time taken by the boat to cross the river is minimum. So I can substitute here sin theta equal to 1 in the general equation I have given previously. General equation I have given is T by T equal D by V sin theta. So minimum time required by the boat or swimmer to cross the river will be D by V. So minimum time taken by the boat or swimmer to cross the river will be equal to width of the river by speed of the boat or swimmer in still water. So magnitude is here. To find the actual distance traveled by the boat while crossing the river, you have to find magnitude of the resultant velocity, which is given by Vr equal to root of V square plus U square. Here, V bar is perpendicular to U bar, the angle theta between V bar and U bar is 90 degrees. So magnitude of the resultant of V bar and U bar will be root of V square plus U square. So the actual distance traveled means length of the line OB is equal to magnitude of the resultant velocity into time taken to cross river. You can substitute the value of Vr from this step and time taken from this step here to find the length of the line OB. The boat travels down the river on the other bank below the point A towards which it was originally directed. That means you may be asked to find drift of the boat down the river. That means the distance between point A and B. As I discussed earlier, here we choose the direction of the flow of river water as x axis. The direction along the width OA of the river as y axis. So in this case, x component is the resultant velocity. In, the, in this case, the x component is the resultant velocity is equal to u, and y component is the resultant velocity equal to v. In the general case, as I discussed earlier, I have written v x equal to u plus v cos theta, v y equal to v sin theta. Here, theta is 90 degrees. So sine theta will be 1 and cos theta will be 0. So x component as the resultant velocity is equal to u and y component resultant velocity is equal to v. Therefore, displacement of the boat parallel to the x direction can be that x component velocity into time taken. So displacement parallel to the x direction will be equal to the drift of the boat. That is the distance between point A and B. That is equal to magnitude x component velocity into time taken to cross the river. So the magnitude x component velocity in this case equal to u into t. So time taken to cross the river in this case is equal to dy v. The case 2 now, another special case. In the case 1, I have discussed the special case where time taken by the boat to cross the river is minimum. This is the direction of the flow of river water. Here O is the initial position of the boat on one bank of the river. This is the bed of the river here. The diagram is understood to be in the horizontal plane.
is exactly opposite point and the other bank of the river in the previous case the boat does not reach this opposite point here it reaches the point b at some distance below the opposite point a suppose if the boat or swimmer wants to reach the exact opposite point a on the other bank then the boat or swimmer must move along the minimum distance path that is the boat or swimmer must travel along the line oe so in any case the actual direction of the motion of the boat will take place in the direction of the resultant of v bar and u bar here u bar is the velocity of river water v bar is the velocity of the boat relative to water or you can say v is the speed of the boat relative to water or v is the speed of the boat in still water so the boat or swimmer if the boat or swimmer wants to reach exactly opposite point a and other bank it has to travel along the minimum distance path from o to a it will move along the minimum distance path from o to a along the line o a along the width of the river if the resultant velocity is directed in this direction this is the direct of the velocity of river water the resultant velocity should be directed perpendicular to u bar v r bar will be directed perpendicular to u bar not v bar perpendicular to u bar in the previous case case one to cross the river in minimum time v bar is perpendicular to u bar but in case two v r bar has to be perpendicular to u bar to cross the river along the minimum distance path for that v bar must be directed at some angle alpha with the width of the river so from parallelogram law of vector addition if you construct a parallelogram by representing the two vectors u bar and v bar graphically by the adjacent sides of the parallelogram such the tail of vector u bar the attached tail of vector v bar in the diagonal of the parallelogram passing through their point of intersection represent the resultant both in magnitude and direction so here the resultant of v bar and u bar is directed towards the opposite point a on the other bank that means the boat travels along the line oe while crossing the river along the minimum distance path or you can say a is the final position of the boat on the other bank of course this is possible in practice only if v is greater than u that means speed of boat in still water or speed of boat relative to water has to be greater than the speed of the boat, river water so in the parallelogram opposite sides are equal so this can also be taken as u bar so we have a right angle triangle here in this right angle triangle length of the side opposite the angle alpha gives you magnitude of u bar r u length of side relation to alpha gives you vr length of the hypotenuse side gives you v so if i applying the pythagoras theorem can write v square equal to u square plus vr square or you can write v square minus u square equal to vr square 
so the magnitude of resultant velocity in this case will be root of v square minus v square that means this situation is possible only when v is greater than u that means the boat or swimmer may be able to cross the river along the minimum distance path and reach the exact opposite point on the other bank only when v is greater than u so in this case the actual distance covered by the boat while crossing the river same as the width of the river what is the initial position of the boat on one bank of the river and when the boat moves along the minimum distance path and reach of the exactly opposite point on the other bank the actual distance covered is same as the width of the river so in general when the body moves with constant velocity actual distance covered so in any case actual distance covered can be written as magnitude of resultant velocity into time interval so actual distance covered by the boat while crossing the river in this case same as the width of the river and magnitude of the resultant velocity of the boat is root of v square minus u square it means for the stationary observer on one of the banks this is one bank and this is the other bank of the river for a stationary observer on one of the banks the boat moves along the path oa with the resultant velocity of magnitude root of v square minus u square here capital t represents the time taken by the boat or swimmer to cross the river so the time taken by the boat or swimmer to cross the river along the minimum distance path is given by t equal d by root of v square minus u square so if we are given that the boat crosses the river and reaches the opposite point and the other bank you can conclude that the boat has moved along the minimum distance path and directly can use this conclusion to find the time taken to cross the river along the minimum distance path t equal to d by root of v square minus u square in some of the questions you may be asked to find the angle theta between v bar and u bar the angle theta between v bar and u bar is equal to 90 degrees plus alpha here alpha is the angle which v bar makes with the line oa with the width of the river that means at the starting point the boat is rowed straight in this particular direction at an angle alpha with the width oa so we have a right angle triangle here in this right angle triangle length of the side opposite is angle alpha equal to u length of the hypotenuse side gives you v so sin alpha you can write length of side opposite to alpha by length of the hypotenuse u by v so the values of u and v are given you can find sin alpha from that you can find alpha 
so angle between v bar and u bar i denote it by theta in this case it will be 90 degrees plus alpha <coughs> now next i am going to revise the entire discussion on motion of the boat crossing the river motion of the boat or swimmer crossing the river those students who are interested to write the notes or take down the notes they can take a pause wherever required and copy the notes so throughout my discussion i denote the speed of boat or swimmer in still water by letter v in some of the numerical problems you are given the speed of the boat in still water some vehicular value say 10 km per hour something like that there are some problems you may be given speed of boat with respect to water so either way you can take it as v that means v represents speed of the boat in still water or speed of swimmer in still water or you can say v is the speed of boat with relative to water with respect to water next speed of river water i denoted by u that is u is the magnitude of the flow of river water magnitude of velocity of river water this is the diagram i have shown on the screen this represent the magnitude of the initial loss this is the magnitude of the velocity of the river water u represents magnitude of the velocity of the river water so here i have constructed a parallelogram by representing u bar and v bar graphically by the adjacent sides of parallelogram so the tail of u bar is attached to tail of v bar again here u bar means velocity of river water v bar is the velocity of the boat relative to water so if we complete the parallelogram by representing v bar and u bar by the adjacent sides and the diagonal of the parallelogram passing through their point of intersection this represents the resultant velocity the diagonal represents the resultant of v bar and u bar here o is the initial position of the boat on one bank of the river a is exactly opposite point on another bank as i discussed previously and the direction of the flow of river water we take it as x axis y axis along the width o a of the river so the boat moves along the line o b while crossing the river that means length of the line o b this is the actual distance moved by the boat while crossing the river that means the dotted line o b represents the path along which the boat moves while crossing the river and b is the final position of the boat when it just crosses the river and reaches other bank capital d is the width of the river here here v bar is direct an angle theta with u bar in the figure i have shown previously the resultant velocity of the boat that is the velocity of the boat the velocity with which boat moves with respect to station observer on one of the banks of the river is given by v r bar equal to v bar plus u bar the resultant velocity of the boat that is the velocity with which boat moves with respect to the station observer on one of the banks of the river is given by v bar plus u bar that means actual velocity of the boat as observed by station observer on one of the banks of the river the vector sum of relative velocity of the boat with respect to water and velocity of the water as i discussed previously this v bar we can write v cos theta into i bar plus v sin theta into j bar 
i bar is unit vector along x axis j bar is unit vector along y axis and u bar you can write ui cap so if you write the these two terms at one place v r bar you can write v cos theta plus u into i bar plus v sin theta into j bar those who want to copy the notes they can take a pause and copy the notes this you can write vx i bar plus vy j bar here vx represents the x component of the resultant velocity vy the y component of the resultant velocity you can write x component of the displacement is equal to x component of velocity to time interval that is the drift ab as i discussed previously the drift means the distance with the boat travels on the other bank down the river in the direction of the flow of water when it has just crossed the river you can write drift ab equal to v cos theta plus u into t that means vx is equal to v cos theta plus u here displacement is parallel to y direction you can write vy into capital t when the boat just crosses the river and reaches the other bank displacement in the y direction is equal to width of the river and time taken to cross the river denoted by capital t vy is v sin theta that means the time taken by the boat to cross the river is given by capital d by v sin theta that is equal to width of the river divided by magnitude of velocity along the width So in case you are asked to find actual distance covered by the boat while crossing the river, that is given by mag the resultant velocity into time taken to cross the river. Those students who want to write the notes, they can take a pause and copy the notes. So coming to the special cases. the time taken by the boat to cross the river as i discussed previously equal to d by v sin theta so for given values of d and v t is proportional to sin theta so t is minimum when sin theta equal to 1 or theta equal to 90 degrees that means time taken is minimum when v bar is perpendicular to u bar So the minimum time required to cross the river is d by v. That means the time taken by the boat or swimmer to cross the river will be minimum. When v bar is directed straight across the river, that is directed perpendicular to the velocity of river water. So this is the conclusion you have to remember while solving problems on boat crossing the river. that the time taken by the boat or swimmer to cross the river is minimum and v bar is directed perpendicular to u bar so the minimum time required to cross the river is d by v means minimum time required to cross the river is equal to width of the river divided by speed of the boat or swimmer in still water so in case you are asked to find the drift means distance with the boat travels down the river on the other bank below the point t towards which its velocity v bar is directed you have to find x component of displacement that is equal to x component of velocity to time taken so in this case theta is 90 degrees the x component of velocity equal to u y component of velocity equal to v so distance ab that means x component of the displacement down the river is equal to velocity along x axis into time taken u into t so actual distance covered by the boat is equal to length of the path ob in the figure so here we have drawn a separate diagram applicable for case 1 where v bar is perpendicular to u bar 
so the time taken by the boat to cross the river is minimum in this case when v bar is directly perpendicular to u bar but the boat will not move along the line oa it moves along the line ob in the direction of this resultant velocity vr bar and reaches the other bank at b so actual distance covered is equal to length of the line ob that you can write magnitude of the resultant velocity into time taken here when v bar is perpendicular to u bar magnitude of the resultant velocity will be root of v square plus u square coming to the second case the boat or swimmer crosses the river along the minimum distance path and reaches the exactly opposite point on the other bank if the resultant velocity vr bar is perpendicular to u bar that means in this case the resultant velocity vr bar acts along the width oa of the river perpendicular to the velocity u bar of the river water and boat will reach the other bank at the point a that means it moves along the minimum distance path this conclusion you have to remember while solving the problems rest of the discussion automatically follows in a logical way that is in case one to cross the river you must observe the distinction between the two cases in the case one to cross the river in minimum time v bar is should be perpendicular to u bar but to cross the river along the minimum distance path the resultant velocity v r bar should be perpendicular to u bar that means here drift is zero that means distance covered parallel to x direction is zero so in this case velocity v bar is directed at an angle alpha with the width oa of the river so from the figure we have a right angle triangle here length of this side opposite to the angle alpha equal to u length of this hypotenuse side equal to v length of this side adjacent to the angle alpha equal to vr so applying pythagoras theorem we can write vr square plus u square equal to v square those who want to write the notes they can take a pause and copy this So magnitude the resultant velocity from same equation you can write root of v square one is u square. So in general actual distance covered by the boat while crossing the river you can write magnitude the resultant velocity in time taken. In this case actual distance covered by the boat while crossing the river is same as the width of the river. Therefore actual distance covered you can write capital T. Magnitude the resultant velocity is root of v square one is u square. into capital t so time taken by to cross the river along the minimum distance path is given by t equal d by root of v square minus u square as i shown in the figure if alpha is the angle between v bar and vr bar that means alpha is the angle which v bar makes with the line oa And then sin alpha you can write u by v angle between u bar and v bar we denoted by theta that is equal to 90 degrees plus alpha 